Hello brethren, praise Lord God Almighty. You are welcome to our channel today. It's our 100 days prayer and fasting program going on in Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Movement. We exercise the privilege to spread the gospel revolution worldwide and beyond. Our channel participates on spiritual principle according to Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. And in Acts 6 verse 4, that says, But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Please invite your friends and family to join us now and pray along. Hallelujah, we move. It is time to pray, brethren. Day 92 in 100 days fasting and prayer, Saturday, August 19, 2023. Today's topic Unlimited Breakthrough. Scriptures from New King James Version. Deuteronomy 15 verses 4 to 6, Except when there may be no poor among you, for the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance, only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. For the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised you, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow, you shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. Deuteronomy 28 verses 12 to 13, The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, you shall be above only, and not be beneath, if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Meditation and Summary on the Above Scriptural Passages Beloved in the Lord, it is the Lord that brings connections. It is the Lord that gives power to make wealth. In John 3 verse 27 the scripture says that no one has anything unless given to him by God. The scripture says that, he who comes from above, is above all, John 3 verse 31. In this program every channel of connection and breakthrough blocked or locked by the enemy shall be opened. In this program every chain the enemy has used to lock your destiny, business, blessings, breakthrough and progress will be broken and entirely destroyed. Your wealth and breakthrough shall be unlimited. You shall have unlimited breakthrough and prosperity. I connect you to the connection that will suddenly and instantly change your history. I command it to hook in the spiritual and manifest in the physical, locally and internationally. By the operation of the Holy Spirit, every evil hand holding your blessings, destiny and breakthrough shall receive paralysis and amputation by fire. You shall extend your boundaries in every area of life. Your problems and challenges shall be permanently abolished. You are liberated. You are set free. Your problems are over. Today, God will grant you total divine settlement in all ramifications, in the name of Jesus. We take on our prayer points. Number 1. O Lord, by your power grant me unlimited breakthrough which only you can give, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, by your power grant me unlimited breakthrough which only you can give, O Lord, by your power grant me unlimited breakthrough which only you can give, O Lord. By your power grant me unlimited breakthrough which only you can give, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Number 2. Every evil voice speaking poverty, affliction, pain, failure and any form of negativity against me be permanently silenced, in the name of Jesus, every evil voice speaking poverty, affliction, pain, failure and any form of negativity against me be permanently silenced, every evil voice speaking poverty, affliction, pain, Failure and any form of negativity against me be permanently silenced. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Number 3. Every evil power that has swallowed any of my blessings, vomit them and be destroyed, by the blood of Jesus, every evil power that has swallowed any of my blessings, vomit them and be destroyed, every evil power that has swallowed any of my blessings, vomit them and be destroyed, every evil power that has swallowed any of my blessings, Vomit them and be destroyed, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Number 4. Pray for our spiritual director, 
Evangelist Ibuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Brethren, it is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 For he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him would turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians 4 verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes diviners mad, he turns wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against Brother Ibuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty God. According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Ibuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is prophet Ibuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, and will say, destroy. Again Father. Your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare. O you that trouble the ministry of Evangelist Ibuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement premises and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray, that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, scatter, in the name of Jesus. O God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. Please brethren, see the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel, and share to your friends and family, as it is written, in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Our YouTube channel does not represent the ministries in any way, or speak on their behalf but the spiritual director, have many times encouraged lovers of kingdom of God to propagate the gospel of Savior Jesus Christ, and our channel don't solicit funds of any kind. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. So was the time. Spirits of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirits of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt me, mold me, and use me. Spirits of the living God. Fresh on us, so love me. He's moving me around. Oh, he's moving me around. He's moving me around. Oh, he's moving me around. Oh, he's moving me around. He's moving me around. Oh, 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 he's moving me around. Holy Spirit, oh, 
Be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. As I walk in along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, us through. Brethren, pick up your prayer effective prayer book, can open page 42. Prayer for Victory 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 Your word says, Thanks be to God who has given us victory through Christ Jesus. Lord, no one moves into battle or faces the challenges of life with you and comes out defeated. Every victory comes from you. Powerful God in heaven, I depend on you as I journey through this life that is full of battles. Give me victory as I go and as I come. The secret battles I cannot fight, Lord arise, fight them and give me victory in Jesus' name. Amen. You gave Moses victory over Pharaoh, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave David victory over Goliath, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Esther and Mordecai victory over Haman, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Daniel victory over Nebuchadnezzar, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Joshua victory over the Amalekites, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Gideon victory over the Midianites, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Elijah victory over the prophets of Baal, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave the apostles victory over the Sadducees and Pharisees, Lord give me victory. Amen. You gave Archangel Michael victory over Lucifer in heaven, Lord give me victory. Amen. I stand to claim my victory in all of life's battles. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over all principalities and powers of darkness. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over untimely death in my life and family. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over curses, evil covenant and spells existing in my family. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over barrenness in my family. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over late marriage. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over shame and disgrace. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory over poverty and lack. Amen. In Jesus' name, I claim victory for my parents, brothers, sisters and my entire family. Amen. I declare today that I am a victor and not a victim and I refuse to be a victim to the devil and his kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Alleluia. I am a winner in the Lord. Amen and Amen. Amen. Please brethren. See the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.